Well, guys, over the years, a lot of you have asked how to use the spatula or door shim tools. And uh, during this lockdown, I guess this is a great time to start talking about that. I got a couple of them here. This is uh, both of these are from Multipick. Multipick calls this one the door latch spatula comes with a three piece set. This sells for thirty six twenty five. That's in euros. That's thirty nine dollars U.S. If you're in a country where you have to pay the VAT tax, it's forty three euros. Um, this other one is a five-piece set. They call this the slider or door slider, door latch slider TFG. I, I don't have a clue what TFG stands for, but come in, as I said, five different sizes. This sells for $63.90 in euros. In the U.S., that is about $69 at today's exchange rate. If you have to pay the VAT tax on these, it works out to 76 euros. All right, a couple limitations on these tools. Uh, these are really not intended for locked doors. Therefore, lights or low security doors, fire doors, things like that. Doors that you pass through that the bolt is not locked. It's just a spring-loaded lock, but the door handle doesn't let you back in. Kind of like one-way doors, fire doors being the perfect example. Uh, these guys are all designed in different ways, and I'll demo them uh, in a few moments, but all designed to slide into different size doors deactivate the latch and allow you to get back in. So if the owner passed through the door and the door locked behind him, forgot his keys inside, these tools make it incredibly easy to get back inside of there. All right, couple of limitations. I, uh, as I mentioned, uh, I think all of us are involved in this stay at home, this lockdown as part of the coronavirus pandemic, and I'm no exception. So I don't have any access to commercial doors right now, but it doesn't matter. I'll use one of my bedroom doors in my home the theory is exactly the same. The fitting is exactly the same. I'll demonstrate all of that for you, and it'll work exactly the same way on a commercial door when we finally break out of this thing. Anyway, guys, stick around, and I'll show you how to, how to use these things. All right, guys, one of the first things you want to try to do is figure out which size you're going to be using. My advice to you is to try to find a similar door in the building. Uh, in this case, if you can't find it, then start with the smallest one first. And when you run it up there, if you don't engage with the latch like the small one here does not, then move up to the next bigger size. If you try to use one that's too big, you're going to run into this problem. It'll slide up and then it'll strike the bottom uh, of the, the latch and you, you won't get a chance to get it open. So start with the smallest one and then move up if you can't measure it. What's going to be happening here is, I believe this is the right size here, we're going to slide it into the door, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then when it slides up, it might be hard to show here, but as it goes along this angle, it will engage with that latch. And when it's compressed in the door, it will slowly but surely push it back out of the way and allow you to get in there. It's a little hard to do with my fingers. It's probably going to be easier to show you on a door how that happens. All right, the easiest way to get these into the door is simply take the edge of your foot and push it against the door to give yourself a little bit of room to work with. Just push in and then just work it around the frame and then release with your foot. should hang there by itself. At that point, just slide it up to the latch. Nothing to it. Once you get it up to the latch, all you got to do is just kind of jiggle it back and forth a little bit and that will retract that bolt into the frame and you get it open. How easy is that? All right, the multi-pick spatula tool works exactly the same way. If you're not sure of the door size, again, start with the smallest one. This is the 20 millimeter one. So again, take your foot, push it against the bottom of the door a little bit, give yourself some room to work, slide the spatula around the frame, and then just slide it up. All right, again, once you get up to the door latch, it'll, you'll, you'll feel it strike it. Just jiggle it back and forth and up and down a little bit, and that'll force that latch back into the door. And you get it open. This is well, guys, there you go. The three-piece door latch spatula from Multipick and the, the five-piece door latch slider, the TFG set, also from Multipick. If you routinely have to open up fire doors or one-way security doors where people have forgotten their keys, both of these are excellent tools. But i got to tell you, I do have a favorite. I would actually prefer the five-piece slider kit, not only because of the different sizes, but let's take a look at this. Um, when you slide this in the door, this, the spatulas are really designed for left-handed doors. In other words, doors with the lock on the left side, so the door would open like that. And that's because the rounded side is right here, so you slide it up and hit that latch. But if you come across a door that opens from the other side, you'd have to flip this tool over. It will still work, as I found out, but because the rounded part is on the opposite side, 
you actually have to jiggle the spatula in the door back and forth, back and forth while you apply upward pressure. It will work. It's a little bit slower, but I think, uh, I think for my own premise, I prefer these. And the reason why is because you have two sides. You have one for the left side, the left side opening, and one for the right side opening, and the angles are exactly where they need to be. Uh, typical German engineering, they put a neat little hole on these so you can put them on your keychain. Yeah, I, I don't know, probably to keep from losing them. Tie them to your go bag, I guess. Anyway, guys, there you go. Appreciate your time. Stay safe, stay legal. This is the giveaway this week. If you'd like to know how to win it, stick around and I will tell you. Thanks, guys. All right, the spatula tool works exactly the same way. Start with the smallest one if you're not sure, and that way, excuse me, we're trying to work here. All you need to do is navigate to locklab.com, the tribal website, and scroll down in the middle of the page. You'll see all the giveaway buttons Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But the one you're looking for is the weekend review giveaway, purple band. Just click on it. It'll take you to the registration page. Again, scroll to the bottom, put in a good email address. So if you win, I can get in touch with you, let you know. Put in a username, doesn't matter what it is, and click submit. When you're done, you'll get a green check mark confirming your entry. Thanks, guys.